Hello Wastelanders! Today, I am going to show you how to watch this video without inconveniencing yourself using your Pip-Boy. Instead of watching it like this, as normal, you will flip your screen like this with your Pip-Boy's auto-rotate off. That way you can watch this video to full convenience without having to miss anything while watching it sideways. Thank you for this vault -Tech broadcast and we will get back to your video now. Today we are going to make a Fallout game tier list. Um, I think I have every Fallout game. We got Fallout Shelter, Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, Fallout Pinball, and then all the major titles. And I think that's it guys. I think that's just what we're going to do. So first, let's start, let's start with uh, Fallout, Fallout 1. Now, I've never done a tier list. But I can see we got S, A, B, C, D, E. I'm assuming S is the best, E is the worst, because that's just how it looks like it should work. So Fallout. Now this game is pretty old. It's really fun though. I think I'm gonna put it. Eh, let's do let's do A tier because it it's kind of old. I like I, it's really fun and I play it on my really old computer from 2007 because I'm an Xbox owner, so I can't play it. Um. Gameplay's dated. It's really fun though. It's got a great quest. I love the story. The story is, the story itself is S tier easily, but with everything in the game, including like um, combat and all that, over the top isometric, we're gonna put it at A tier. Now, well, let's just go to Fallout Shelter. Fallout Shelter. This is the very first game I played when I was a little kid. I mean, I'm still, still kind of a kid, but anyways. Um, I think I'm gonna put this, oh, maybe C tier, okay? Because this game, epic, I love it. It's really fun. It got me into the Fallout franchise because I had no idea what Fallout was until I played it. It's really fun. You get to build your own vault, but it's not really what you think of when you think of Fallout, you know? So we're gonna put that at C tier. Great game, I love it. Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. I have never played this game. I know that it's got a lot of... Um, retconning stuff, a lot of stuff that's not lore friendly. You can meet the chosen one, which is cool. Um, I don't know. I think I've never played it, so it's not really fair for me to rate it. But I think we're gonna put it in E tier just because of all the stuff they have that's not lore friendly, such as changing bottle caps to um, some energy drink that they were doing promoting for. It's just a mess, guys. I I would like to play it, but there's also weird stuff in it okay like spiders that's just weird i know that sounds weird for me to say it's weird but i don't like that fallout pinball we're gonna put an e tier it's pinball guys i mean what else do i need to say i've played it on my phone it's all right but it's not really fallout it's just the fallout skin of pinball and pinball is pretty freaking boring compared to other games such as fallouts now we're gonna go to B tier, I'm putting Fallout 4 there. You might be surprised, but I actually think Fallout 4 is one of the greatest Fallouts. One of my favorites. May, the one I put the most amount of hours into. But, it crashes no matter what I do. And I've tried mods, unmods, everything I could do to fix it. It just doesn't work. I've tried performance, improving all my stuff. But you just can't go to the city without it crashing. And that's the most coolest part of the place. Now it's an amazing game. But with crashing, it's going to land itself on B tier. So, that sucks. Also, the metal on the power armor is kind of weird looking. Fallout New Vegas, we're going to put an A tier. Because that game is just grand. It's so fun. You get all those guns. Exploring it's not the best in normal Vegas. Because it's just kind of dull. Um, ooh, but okay. Uh, I think... No, Okay. I can't rate it just because of the DLCs, but the DLCs do are just like the amazing, the most best DLCs I've ever played. They're so fun. Next, we got Fallout Tactics. Fallout Tactics is going to land itself in C tier because I really like Fallout Tactics. It's pretty fun. I haven't completed it. I've done most of the stuff. Ooh, but you get vehicles. Yeah, you get vehicles. That's sick. You gotta love driving around in a Humvee and a tank and just shooting up mutants and stuff. S tier guys, I have to. Fallout 2 is amazing. Yes, it's got lore breaking stuff, such as the book that you get from the church. It's that's called the Hand Guide to Fallout 2. That's a bit wacky. But 
then again, it's an amazing game. You get to blow up the Enclave. You get to have the Highwayman, which is the coolest car I've ever seen. It's my dream car. Um, it's pretty epic, guys. you got to play Fallout 2 if you haven't. Yes, it's outdated. Yes, it's old. Yes, it's isometric. But it's still epic, and I still love it. It's also the closest I can find the Fallout New Vegas. Like, if I had to choose, it'd be Fallout 2, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 76 all remind me of each other. Because just of the humor and the kind of, does, like, the style. And you might be thinking that's crazy, but yeah. Fallout 3, I'm probably going to put an S tier because I just love the art design and the whole scary wasteland vibes it gives me. And um, I'm going to be honest, I do kind of like the green filter. It looks kind of dope. It's kind of weird, I know, but it's cool. Um, I love Fallout 3 so much. It's one of the, I think it's the first Fallout 3 I played. The Fallout I've played besides Fallout 4 and Sh and Fallout Shelter. And it was the oldest one. And it's it's like a good bridge between like Fallout 2 and New Vegas. Like it's just obviously it's a good bridge because it was one of the ones that came between them. But if you've got to get to the old outdated Fallouts, Fallout 3 is the best one to start with. Because it's yes, it's old. The graphics are pretty horrible. But it's also still an amazing game and it's really fun. I love the... I love everything about it. Fallout 76, guys. I hate this game so much. Just kidding. I'm putting it in S tier because, honestly, you might think this is crazy, but it's got a lot of good lore stuff, such as using the Plasma Caster, bringing a lot of the old weapons back, such as the Chimera Pistol as the Crusader. I love the Brotherhood of Steel stuff they brought in. They do got some Enclave stuff, so all those Enclave fans loved it, I bet. Um... Yes, it's online. Yes, you have to pay to play. As in, you have to pay for a subscription to play it. Not as in, like, you have to pay in-game money to play. But it's really fun, guys. I love it. It's probably the one I can spend the most amount of time in. It's also what helps start this channel. It's perfect for me getting screenshots and all that. And I just, I really love it. It's got... They also made all the power armor much better. They fixed a lot of retcon issues from Fallout 4. But... It's amazing. I still love it. Including, like, the epic stuff they have, such as um, the Aliens Invaders from Beyond. That was amazing. The new Pit DLC that came out, so fun. Yes, it's like Daily Ops, kind of. It's not like a whole expansion to the map, which I would have loved. But, I mean, it's still great. So, let's uh, let's see if we can actually organize these, now that they're in their tiers. Um, I have nothing in D tier. Sorry about that. But, I mean... It's whatever. So, we'll start with E tier. Um, I'd probably rather play Brotherhood. Of, you know what? Let's put. Let's do that. Cause, I mean, a Fallout game is better than no Fallout game, and the pinball's not a Fallout game. Pinball is gonna stay here. I don't really care about it. It's not that great. This game I've never played it. I've watched. I forgot who I watched play it, but they did a whole video on it, and they're pretty great. Um. If I do remember, I'll link it in my uh, description or something. But this one, it looks kind of sick. You got to admit. Oh, and the intro is pretty dope. The intro is pretty kick-ass. So I'm going to leave it right there. It's pretty dope. Fallout Shelter, I'm going to leave it. I really love Fallout Shelter. But it's just it's just a building game. It's just a mobile game. You can't get that high. Fallout 4 is going to come before Fallout Tactics. Because I, I love Fallout 4. I love being 3D Fallout, shooting up stuff. The amount of time I've put in that game is ridiculous. It's so fun. Fallout Tactics, it's going to be right there. It's a great game. I will have to do lore in the Midwestern Power Armor pretty soon. So uh, be sure to check that out, guys. Pretty dope. you got to love the Midwestern Power Armor. I really love the capes. A lot of the stuff they did with Fallout Tactics, some of it made me upset. Like uh, you can meet Vault Boy, but he's named, his name is Pit Boy. And he's like an actual character. It's weird. Um, it is Fallout, so it is wacky, so I do understand that. It's just, it's it's weird. I don't know. I don't like it. But capes, vehicles, that's so sick. New Vegas, you're going to stay right there. You're an amazing game. You maybe, may be overrated. I don't know, but I really love it. It's got a lot of epic guns. The, the amount of guns is ridiculous and awesome. Fallout 1 is going to stay there because it's so dark and the intro is so epic. Everything about it is so cool. Except for the graphics. So I'm going to leave that right there. I do like the talking heads. Those are cool. Fallout 2. Huh. So I'm going to... 
I know I'm going to get a lot of, whoa, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, guys, but I'm going to put Fallout 76 right, right there, okay? Fallout 3 is amazing. I love Fallout 3. It's like one of my favorites. And then it's going to be Fallout 76 and then we're going to fall, then it's going to be Fallout 2. Fallout 3, the reason I put it there, guys, hear me out. I love exploring the aban abandoned cities, and that's one of the reasons I want them to remaster Fallout 1 and 2, because I would love to explore Los Angeles and the Boneyard and all of that. That'd be so cool. Fallout 3 lets me do that. Fallout New Vegas, you can't really, except for if you go to the Divide or Sierra Madre, but Fallout 3 lets me do that. Fallout 76, I can play a lot because they are constantly adding stuff to it, and it's an amazing game. It is online, I know, but it's still amazing. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna leave Fallout 76 there. Fallout 3 is good right there. Fallout 2 is really, it's an old game, but it's so fun. So I'm gonna have to leave it there. Thanks for watching this far, Bell Dwellers. Now you can switch your Pip Boy from this to this. That way you can watch the video with full convenience. I am sorry for the inconvenience, and if you are on a device other than a Pip-Boy, such as a terminal, then I am very sorry, but I was not able to find a solution for this. Now, you may return to your video. Thanks for watching to the end, guys. I really appreciate it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you found it entertaining. Um, I will be having more videos, such as this one, maybe another tier list of other stuff, if you guys are interested. If you were unsure about the tier list I made or anything in this video, be sure to let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your feedback. Um, it is Fallout's 25th anniversary, so I wanted to do something special, and that's what I decided to do. I will be releasing more stuff because Fallout, as you can probably tell, Fallout's my everything. I love Fallout. And I will be releasing more content such as this. Thank you all for watching, and be safe in the wasteland.